alaikum grade fives ma for the delay i am experiencing some technical difficulties i would like you guys to please read through the examples and i prefer that you use example 2 so if you look at that example we are saying 884 divided by 34 so we, what it actually means is how many times can 34 go into 884 So the first step is to start on the hundred side, and we say there's an eight there. So how many times can thirty-four go into eight? It cannot. Therefore, we say how many times can thirty-four go into eighty-eight? And we will find that it goes into it two times because thirty-four times two is sixty-eight. It does not go exactly into eighty-eight. Therefore, we minus sixty-eight from eighty-eight and see what our remainder is. Our remainder is twenty. Can thirty-four go into twenty? No. So we bring down the remaining four, and we get two hundred and four. Now you say how many times can thirty-four go into two hundred and four? You are going to go in steps. You are going to say thirty-four times two, thirty-four times three, until you get to a number that is close to two hundred and four. You will find that when you multiply thirty-four times six, you will get exactly two hundred and four, and then you put the six down. So actually, our answer is twenty-six. Thirty-four can go into eight hundred and eighty-four twenty-six times. Now this is much easier easier because we have because the number goes into the other number exactly, but that is not always the case. Sometimes we have numbers. that do not go into other numbers exactly instead it leaves a remainder